In the beginning, now this is my own understanding, in the beginning of time and its existence when things were being established in the Dead Sea Scrolls for understanding childbirth and man belonging to woman being that the soul is a he-she preference as well as the spirit after death. The understanding of fertility and um, the moral ethic of man and woman and childbirth was being established. The war in heaven was for um, an outcome of a savior for what is considered to be death. And how that is done is by the words of our mouths, pure wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, uh, where most people take the inheritance of the body, the heart, the mind, and the soul for granted and have um, established themselves well in the moral ethic that sours the fruit, which would be the considerate root of all evil, which is money. Not saying that money itself is bad, you have to have power of yourself rather than letting something have power over yourself. It isn't exactly money that is evil. It is what it offers that is evil. In the beginning, you know, you watch all these movies where the Paladins are given their lives for others and necromancers and sorcerers and druids and all kinds of gnomes and they're all fighting these wars for understanding everybody was reaching out to know who God was and what it is that he expected of us after we had killed ourselves from him and we were we, we were never able to feel that love, that that oneness of something that was so great that you can't hold your emotions together or every feeling or sense consider it to the manipulation was weak, feeble, and frail to it. It was so perfect. That was stripped away and we were born into sin and pain and punishment and torture. But the the way a, a true Paladin sees is that the battle is the blessing. And, and it's used for inoculation for strength. It's not that we ask for a battle. It's that God plays with us. He tests us. He trials us. And we ask him, God, test me so that I may know your own heart. For in the soul, we are still with God, but afar off because of iniquity, which is the spirit of childbirth. One, after lust is death and that death is childbirth and that is one of the woes and then dying which is another woe when the spirits are released from the soul those that are worthy to go up into heaven with the soul they go somewhere else and they toil under the sun until they find a relative purpose 
in a relative or another, whether uh, a person in and out of the law has defted from a wellspring, which is the spirit of the soul, um, associated to Hades, the king of death, or the Holy Ghost, the, the king of death, both light and dark, with his Savior, Jesus Christ. And But the blessing is war. And in a sense of a childlike mind, set apart from other human beings, it's the children of God, all the covenants, it's the Ark of Covenants that are carried through to keep the imagination of God alive, to keep the creation of all of God's creatures alive and um, prosperous or 